Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Poland and Lithuania. And in this episode we are laying siege to the capital of Copenhagen and we're getting ready to destroy the Danes. They have uh, a lot of artillery, a lot of infantry, but it's all cr rather weak. So let's get cracking. So with this, we will have captured another major city. We will have destroyed another uh, enemy faction. And we would have gained, we would have we effectively controlled the Baltic Sea um, almost in its entirety. And this may actually prove to be a useful launch pad for future operations. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to take over the territory and also pacify it. Because I imagine they will hate us for being Catholic dogs. <laughs> um, anyway, I've not done anything fancy with my reinforcements. I think for the most part we'll be fine. My cavalry's probably going to go ranging for their artillery. So let's just plonk my artillery down behind the line. Same with my howitzers really. They can probably fire a round shot just to try and gain more, uh, gain some experience. So the reason why I say give them a gain of experience is because it, the, uh, if you use things like Carcass shot or quicklime, anyone that dies in the area of effect appears to not um, be appears to not benefit from um, all these count towards the enemy's sort of guild count as far as experience is concerned. Let's split the cavalry up on the flank. Get my artillery to start hitting their line. If their cavalry is... It would, if they are willing to stay defensive, then we are willing to go offensive. That's my National Cavalry, my Hussar Guards are moving up. My Traban Cavalry, although they've only got pistols, haven't they? Yeah, range 30, those are, that's pistols. Pistol shots. Okay, there goes one enemy gun team. Use my foot or two to engage their other. Artillery pieces, my howitzers engage their infantry. Yeah, I'll take that. My their uh, my skirmishes will my skirmishes will come back. Their cavalry will not. There we go. They're already back. Because their cavalry is shattered. Air regroup with cavalry on the right flank. Okay, my line. Come on. Interestingly, it was a bit of a messed up command. Push forward, but let's not compress our line too much. This left flank, let's try and hold that in somewhat. Howitzers just started to engage some of these enemy units. Okay, looks like the enemy cavalry is coming in from directly behind behind um, our army, which is quite useful. Okay, book artillery just start bombarding almost anything you like. Creep forward. The cavalry's here, ready to pounce on the right flank. Oh, maybe General's bodyguard exposing themselves a bit. Let's get my howitzers to bombard targets. Actually, get most of my artillery to bombard targets on the left, because that's where the bulk of the enemy strength is sitting. It's a 
both found the gunners that have appeared to have recovered. In my heavy cavalry, try to get them in against the general bodyguard. If not, we'll sweep them in against some of the enemy infantry. Go on, Trabant cavalry. Up and over to glory. My marines and so on have plenty of targets in the form of this infantry. Let's keep the guns engaging. Let's probably shift fire. Keep killing the enemy general bodyguard. See if we can kill him. Come on, we must get you. Cool. Shattered, shattered. Excellent. So this infantry advance up like so. We're going to somewhat shift our line. We're going to do a lot of. Okay, where's my national cavalry? Smash that union of line infantry. Sar guards push forward. Infantry pass through town. Get both infantry to attack the line infantry. So then these components here. Okay, now let's get ready. Surge forward to deal with this enemy unit. It's skirmishes. Advance. They're shattered. Okay, send one unit to chase after that unit. You chase after them. Howitzers limber up. Okay, enemy general's bodyguards charging forward. Foot artillery begin picking off some of their units, but I think actually, ultimately, you guys might limber up. Move up the general. Bring out my Trabant cavalry. Let's see if we can pursue the enemy general with pistol fire. Oh, we killed the enemy general, so disregard that order. Okay, let's begin to advance through the town. Cavalry get recalled. Okay, this is quite an aggressive manoeuvre. Okay, some of my cavalry wing around the flanks, try and knock out some of the enemy artillery. Cavalry move forward, everybody run. How it says, well, my artillery's like to not get involved anymore. You didn't make it. Back to enemy guns, everybody's running forward. Push forward at speed, we need to start blunting some of these enemy reinforcements. We don't need to worry about killing all the units, because if you win the battle, the enemy is destroyed for good. You are going about this the worst possible way. Didn't recall the cavalry just to stop them from taking as many losses. The enemy gonna open well attempt to 
open up on us. Neiman advance forward and attack the line infantry. They were never going to respond against us well enough with, with, an, with a single understrength infantry unit. Skirmishers push forward in, in strength. Cavalry position along this gap. This cavalry. National cavalry go for the strong unit. Hussar guards go for the weak unit. Charge. Break this unit before they form a square. You meant slaughter the second regiment. You slaughter them, kill them, kill them all. Infantry to the rear. Advance forward. I mean, I might just run my cavalry forward with pistol shot. They're not going to stop us. Okay, bring my heavies back in. Infantry. Position right here. advance again bring the line of between to help against that enemy unit there Hussar guards go for the regiment of horse lance cavalry go for the regiment of foot at the edge of the edge of the field look at them muddled they don't know what direction to face the hussars are and the lances are vulnerable Still exposed. Use the unit form the square. These two units. While well, you're engaging the enemy gunners. Okay, elite infantry. Push up in numbers. Light infantry. Oh, we're slightly reduced numbers. We're slightly reduced infantry. Go after okay, this cavalry, just go after the enemy. Which you guys engage the 19th with pistol fire. Make ready. Oh, the one guy at the back. Draw your pistols. They've got 166 men. Ooh. Three. Yes, it is definitely not worth. Advancing forward to pistol range. Push forward with the line. It's just one last unit of infantry that stands against us. You men firing well off. Even get into position just in case those or when those guys try to withdraw. Hello. Mean square. They're not going to stick around very long. 19th Regiment of Foot. There they go. my cavalry over. There we go. They came out of square formation, so let's go after them with my infantry. Go 
Go get him, Hussar guards. Just rode through their formation. Actually, let's get my cavalry to keep attacking. Just get some experience. We'll try to offset the impact of okay, it's everybody on these going then. Let's try to offset the impact of losses as best as we can. Got a good number there. Oh, is it going to be? Yeah, it's their gunners. Trabant cavalry get one. My lances, even though they're the most experienced, I want them to have the best chance in life. Although the land, although if everybody else gets there as well, it's whoever wins, whoever gets there first. Cool. Okay, so that is Copenhagen taken. So right now we are going to very much be uh, bringing this territory under our control. So Corlands, you can abandon the blockade of the port. Get rid of a school. Okay, so the army itself, we probably want to focus on repairing the government buildings first, or the ones that provide happiness bonuses, and the new guys can replenish. Mr. Pontiovsky, you will advance down towards the Hanoverian border. We may end up looking to see if we can get a alliance with Hanover. Actually, let's see if we can... Well, wait, before we do that with you... Hanover... Very friendly, we're already trading. Excellent. Excellent trading with the Mughals. So Hanover, we're very friendly. They're at war with all the same people for the most part as we are. Let's see if we can create an alliance. Excellent. We might be able to exploit exploit uh, their the existence of their of their nation. To provide a land land uh, a land front towards the Dutch, although to be honest, we we own everything we really need to own as far as taking taking things away from the Dutch. Uh, Quebec would be our next target, I think. Uh, India is just off the table. Russia, we still have to be wary of, but apart from that, things are okay. Then you can just stay being the garrison of Stockholm for now. Things are looking up. Is there any tech to worry about? Nothing on the horizon. So it's going to be critical that we get some guard ships in the ports around around Copenhagen. We can potentially start looking at advancing towards the Ottomans as well, although just the Austrians are just scary. So I, I am I would ooh. I would prefer... Interesting. I would prefer to try and um, maintain... I mean, I suppose we are at war with the Ottomans. Let me bring some troops up to the front. I think I'm happy to keep the Dutch on the boil, so to speak, until we run oh yes i want my alliance with russia again yes please um i think i want yeah i want to keep my war with the ottomans on the boil so i can focus on other things i mean the marathas are definitely doomed no the Mughals, sorry are definitely doomed because the marathas just took one of their last major cities and have split their empire in half no no alliance i am not riding for the rescue Mughal empire i am so terribly sorry Apart from that, things are going really quite nicely. We've got a decent economy. We're able to support a large number of troops in the field. But I think I do want to keep bolstering those garrisons, protecting the choke points between the uh, Carpathian Mountains. You also need a port to protect. You need, need a guard ship. Uh, I think it's Stavanger? That port. That one right there. Barbary states are up to no good. That's fine. I'm not trading with Britain. 
Actually, I am trading with Hudson. Blast! Okay, let's get a rake. We're gonna start trying to assassinate enemy generals ahead of us. Ah, uh, scavengers the town. You've got your ship, excellent. I guess you can get a commercial basin. Okay, so you've got an infantry unit plus two howitzers are coming in. You've got yeah, two howitzers coming from Vilnius. Um, I might try get some skirmishers into these regions. We don't need to build up these these armies enormously very quickly. That's okay. Uh, you were really important at one stage when we were, weren't at war with Russia, but we will continue to build up of this army. Literary demands from Denmark, but they've already chilled out. Okay, so this army, you're in pretty good shape. Cross over and get ready to de defend this territory against Arnold Conklin, with actually quite a decent elite army, but with no artillery. Don't upgrade any, any infrastructure yet. Rostock, have a commercial basin, and then let's just start recruiting sloops. Probably Stanton. Well, there's no point deploying them over there yet. They'll just get pu pushed out from this army. Okay, so all those coming from... They're not all coming from Kiev. Keep Kiev upgrading though, because we, we are we will be on the front line with Moscow when that erupts. Okay, they are coming from Warsaw itself. Okay, let's move you more here. Let's get you into this artillery fort. So recruiting artillery. Field Marshal of Europe. General Field Marshal of the Army. Awesome. First, let's try and get this army built up some. Something like that. Let's try get a unit of irregulars. Cool. Workers are on strike in Denmark. No, they are not. We're not going to upgrade anything it's just going to get raided by the Dutch. Over here in the Americas. Oh, you want your ship back. Good. Right. Okay, let's upgrade this and then upgrade the church school. So this army could do with recruiting two units of power to Antigua, ready for the final attack. And then let's add a couple of units of infantry on down here at Antigua. Let's get ready. Let's get recruiting some sloops. Uh, we don't need all these militia units, so let's get rid of this militia unit to free up a slot. Great. So yeah, we do want to go after Quebec and take it from the French, if we can. In the meantime, so you are able to export all of your sugar, so let's go for an increased sugar production I mean America's pretty secure right now I think let's upgrade a couple of religious buildings in some of these territories just to boost our religious happiness um, uh, apart from that though, yeah there's not a huge amount that has to be done let's upgrade Berlin's military academy no technology yet. There will be some in a couple of turns. My rake is beginning their long trek up the east coast of the United States. The Royal Navy is out and raiding the Spanish. That's fine. We're not trading with the Spanish, but Spain does not like us, so... See, they want to attack us so bad. <gasps> Good. Good Hanover. 
thought they were about to um, <laughs> they were about to take out my ally. Like we've only just got to know each other. Yeah, not so into stealing our research, but not overly bothered about trying to stop them. Our capac research capacity is so strong. They will be playing catch up. I think the Marathas might be about to destroy the Mughal Empire soon. They're not long for this world. Hanover's bolstering their capacity to recruit and maintain a country by garrisoning the city. If we can negotiate military access, we will be able to advance across and attack the city of Amsterdam. You can raid over here as much as you like. Okay, let's upgrade port. Somewhat concerned about the Venetians, although it looks like they're going to have a very depleted army if, if they do attack us. And it might be worth building a fortification just to really boost our Defensive strength. Crimea. Okay. Let the, let the recruitment continue on here. I mean, you're probably able to destroy this force right now, right? Yes, just take it. Okay, so you men replenish. Light galley, go over to Aarhus. Let's get it repaired. Repair the shipyards. Repair the military recruit, military production buildings in the city. Um, Schleswig. Let's make your craft workshop. And then you guys are clearances. I think really that's what we need to do there. They've got a decent alliance of states building up here i'd love to become an ally with hessen but then allied with the dutch so they are not likely to accept that anytime soon some floats fifth rate sixth rate a bit of a not so good fleet but we are becoming a ooh, plus four hero of the army awesome and to keep this general alive 7,000. Question is, do we... Okay, let's... Can you sail over to Antigua? Well, unfortunately, we have no spare port... Spare, um... Ships, we could wait a turn, but I don't... Necessarily want blue. Could you get to Quebec in one go? No, no, you want to land two turns to get there. Okay, you may wait in Guadeloupe, build up your movement points, and see if you can get there in one turn. I'm happy to sacrifice the sloop to get the army there, but I'm not happy on having the army sat out here. I could take Falmouth, but I don't want to open up a border with the 13 colonies yet. I want to take Quebec first and use that as my base of power to expand in all directions. So we have 7,000. First of all, let's move some of these recruited units on. So I'm getting a, don't quite like how cluttered it makes, makes the map at times. Excellent. The first winged hussars are in <laughs> are en route. Okay, my guns. Get over here. So you're waiting for your two units of foot artillery. You've got no more is being recruited yet. Let's get heavy horse guard artillery to move the to move forward as well. Apart from that, there's a huge amount of things we can do. But let's go to Warsaw. Oh no, 
It's a region of Marines. Okay, let's put a general field marshal of the. Wait, can we build more than. Okay, no, we can get a general field marshal of the army. Household cavalry. So much stuff to do. I don't think I've got platoon firing. No. Okay, next turn we have a few more technologies. Yeah, we are just consolidating our strength. Let's upgrade this port here at Visby. That's probably everything. I can definitely upgrade the roads here in Copenhagen. Should reverse this economic decline. It'll really help once we've got the church school up and running. I'll really start to help start chipping away that Protestant population, get them to become good, proper, stout Catholics. Yeah, the Dutch have a holdout at Ceylon, which we probably want to take. Once Copenhagen secured, we're probably going to build a bit of a garrison. Then we can sail over and take Iceland. That territory is ripe for the taking. Russia's continuing their obsession with trying to steal our technology. But it's not going to work, damn it. No alliance. They've knocked their offer down by, by 100 a turn. And I ain't buying. No way, Jose. Hanover's rebuilding their strength. To be honest, if I can pacify Amsterdam, I'd be tempted to give it to Hanover. I don't necessarily want it just yet. It will keep Hessen in check. Catholic missionary Moldavia. Cool. Well, they realistically, most of my frontier towns have agents in them. Let's bring you over to Amsterdam. A happy drinker. Nice. Wait, Stanislaw. Stanislaw? The Stans. Okay, so research light infantry doctrine and power loom. Well, I don't necessarily want seed planting drill. Let's go platoon firing. Actually, maybe go for rockets. Rockets are good fun. Krakow going for seed planting drill, which isn't the worst idea in the world. Ultimately, our economy's firing right now. I don't, I'm not overly bothered about maximizing my research. doing really good really good you are not ready to cross into enemy territory just yet okay let's send our ships around although i do like building militia to hold shipyards let's fortify copenhagen if i move the army out yeah they almost immediately want to start rebelling Start building a bit of a garrison. Upgrade a Jesuit college. And over here in the Americas. Move a sloop out. You have enough you can get to the port. It's currently being blockaded, but let's hope it isn't somebody we don't like. Worst comes to the worst, we'll just land off the coast up here somewhere. French, the French, well, they don't want to. Okay, right. Drop the army. You can try and run back. But you're not going to make it. Okay, let's upgrade the port, upgrade the church school. Because we want to start getting some religious agents down here just to make sure we convert the dregs of, of animism here. And then obviously, there's a bunch of <laughs> entirely foreign religion country here we're gonna let yeah, we're gonna take Copenhagen it might take us a couple of turns to get there three turns to get there because there's no infrastructure more recruitment
good. Let's go and she just get in. You guys get in. So there's two, two standard slaws, then there's a random slaw. Dear, oh dear. Right. So you're going to be ready to move on Iceland, because no one owns Iceland. That would be a good good one to capture. Okay, let's hit end turn. 13 Colonies has not upgraded the infrastructure on the continental United States either. So that's not, not good for them. They can't move their troops throughout their territory as much as they would like. France has resisted the urge to uh, attack our to attack our uh, sloop out at sea. Don't worry, Ottomans. We're ready to move on you. Russia's moving. See, now they've got a secure, secure access to the rest of the world's oceans. They can send ships out to their heart's content. Doesn't matter to us. What the Marath is going to do? Are they going to finally destroy the Mughal Empire? Nope. We're going to let them live. Venice is going to Venice. Are you going to raid anyone's trade zones? Well, I'm just do some general piracy. Fallen marching in. Well, sailing in. They're always very prolific on the oceans. And that's pretty cool to see. Okay, wealth of nations. And you've gone straight on with citizenship. That is fine. New town emerges. Andri Adrianopol in Romalia. Craft workshop. Let's upgrade some of the military production buildings in Romalia. We have another happy drinker. I mean, granted, he's been sat here not doing much for a while. Okay, Punda, upgrade the government building. But for the most part, there isn't a huge amount that we can do. Upgrade you, upgrade you. So if you guys hop out. Minus three. Could recruit dragoons, but I don't want to. I don't want any dragoons. I don't, I don't want dragoons. Although it would help my problems, <laughs> it would resolve this quite quickly. Ultimately, I don't need to send an ent this entire army out here. Out. There you go. Go land at Hoppen, then advance onto Reykjavik along the coast road. Actually, this one goes all the way through the territory, doesn't it? Oh, no, 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 no. Disembark your army in the port. You will march there over a series of turns. Well, I could. I don't think it's going to matter. I think we should be okay. Recruiting a series of dragoons because we will lose a religious unrest. We'll lose another sec another um, resistance to foreign occupation, and our garrison will go up as well. So we need a lot of double accounting here. Right, you advance down the road. Yeah, thirteen colonies have you under blockade. Very nice indeed. Okay, more recruitment. Get in, get in. Okay, so you got three cavalry, a bunch of elite infantry, one skirmish unit, you need another. Although we can recruit regular light infantry, which is pretty awesome. Although, can we get any special light infantry?
Nothing more than we already could get. Okay, one more unit. Light infantry. Well, a gun team. A skirmisher unit plus two. Let's treat it some two slightly different regular infantry units. Could get some mercenaries. We haven't got many mercenaries in our armies. Although we've already got one unit. Okay, let's get one mercenary unit plus one unit of grenadiers. Cool. If you're still recruiting your field marshal of the army, Konigsberg. Upgrade the, just upgrade all of our military production buildings here as well. Because it's another front line territory. Cool, 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 cool. Don't think we have much to worry about from the Swedish. <clears throat> I think that. One second. I think they're going to be suffering from quite a lot of attrition from being bank. Well, near dear is down at bankrupt. Also, Russia is in their territory. Let's see it in turn. My, my ship is fleeing back to the safe haven of the port. Good, good, good. France is struggling. We're going to attack the army in the port just to push them west. Oh, has, has Austria opened up another... Austria may have a new enemy. They were moving a good chunk of chunk of their troops east. Okay, I think we might have to trespass into the, into Ottoman territory now. They are they are becoming far too bold in their theft of our technologies. Russia, we have to kind of tolerate as our quote unquote ally. Yeah, we'll move our troops. Oh, yeah, they're losing even more of, their, more of their treasury. They just lost a war against somebody. I'm assuming the Marathas are going to take the city imminently. Venice, the pirate kings. I wonder if they're going to pick an army up and go and attack somewhere. They're moving the troops around in the territory of Petrus, so perhaps. Mm. Lots of ships for Georgia. Yes, Saxony! Get back into the action. My German buffer states. Doing some real heavy lifting. Ooh. Greece. Let's get our gentlemen up to here. New town emerges. Poznan, West Prussia. Here you go. Have a craft workshop. Oh, my gentleman has died. Oh, in Krakow. Okay, let's make sure you replace that gentleman there. And Siri gained mistress. Awesome. Ooh. Wait. Well I, don't, well, I don't necessarily mind Hessen being destroyed. Okay, diplomacy. Hanover. Military access. Let's, we, let's say we're good allies. Excellent. Stanislav, cross the, cross the frontier. They siege this French army that's just captured Cologne. They're a bit isolated. You men storm into Cologne, into Reykjavik. Keep on going. My new general. This general is going to become. Was going to recruit a real beast of an army. Lots of heavy cavalry. 
heavy horse artillery, heavy horse howitzers. Oh my, this is going to be some of my heavy hitters. Although we don't can't get twenty four pounders. Well then, let's recruit a unit of marines. To be honest, this army may well commit in support of the fighting on the west. They may move up as well. These mercenaries can join their formation. You men move up. It's going to take you many turns to get here. But we're going to starve them out here in Cologne. Okay, let's recruit some militia to bolster the garrison. General Field Marshal of the Army. Awesome. Let's also stack on... Two, uh, three units of line infantry plus... Which I'll probably do. Although we could get some skirmishes teed up here as well in Warsaw. Twenty thousand. I'm starting to. I was about to say starting to run out of things to upgrade, but actually we've just spent a bunch more of it. Let's upgrade the mines in Norway. Awesome. Plus the seminary, because we want to make you guys Catholic. Tron time is about to pop soon. Yeah, let's. Oh, God alive. <laughs> Didn't expect to see this guy here. But let's. <laughs> let's attack Noel Delaunay, who's been reinforced by a French gentleman. Well, a, fr a French officer and a gentleman who will be annihilated. Keep pushing them back to uh, Quebec, but we want to keep replenishing. We want, we want to make sure we don't get too caught out uh, on the hop. Just yeah, if we get this, if this army gets surrounded and destroyed, that will be most unfortunate. Worst comes to the worst, we can stage some sort of rescue effort. So my advantage of firepower is going to manifest itself, manifest itself on this ridge line. Howitzers provide close support. My elite infantry. They're going to focus on advancing up on the left around this high ground. The right are going to be my irregulars and my pikes. My lancers are going to hold the left. The general watch in disgust as the French ran. Okay, we'll push up. Push up to the road. Pikemen hold the line behind the militia. My buccaneers start to screen the flank. Light cavalry get out here. Lancers push forward. Waste with this. We're annoying them. They want to push. They want to get into position. So let's make sure we run. We probably want the left wing of my army to start curling around. Thirty-eighth and thirty-sixth, or well, thirty-sixth and thirty-first are going to be our first. Targets. Excellent shooting there from the howitzers. Artillery fire slamming home. Yeah, we do want to start. We 
pushing up units like so, really. Again, outflanking their defensive positions. The enemy's already starting, the, starting to retreat. We want to make sure our foot artillery is clearing out their light cavalry. My howitzers can focus on engaging the enemy infantry en masse. Who are you? General Bodyguard. Commit my light cavalry to see if we can intercept that precocious Frenchman. Guard advancing into range. Very well, let him be fired upon. Okay, let's start to bolster our artillery fire and support the left flank. That's where our where we're the weakest, but get one gun to engage the 36th formation in square. France doesn't even have bayonets. Excellent. Human advance. Human advance into this gap. One second. Okay, I can hear enemy cavalry charge. Hey, enemy Native American troops. The enemy infantry force is making a beeline towards our, our regular lines. We want to make sure we we want to make sure we don't let them fall. Okay, that enemy building has collapsed, so we can push through it. Even storm up on one side of the church. This unit is walking. Lancers commit against the 11th Light Horse with infantry support. Once you get past the Lance Point, like killing rabbits. Okay, foot artillery can start engaging troops. That they're joining the battle. My militia is still holding off against those troops. There we go. Our Lancers have smashed. Their light cavalry. Infantry, form up, engage the 36th, kill this infantry unit and advance towards the high ground. Now let's see this start lobbing in shells and support. Here and secure this position. Okay, we need to get up here. The enemy is advancing in number. In numbers. Multiple. Now it says all engage. Everyone st uh, steam forward. Lancers just keep killing. Still bringing in reinforcements. Draw the lancers. Line. It's done a fantastic job 
holding this position, they can now push forward at speed, push the Buccaneers up, push the light cab up. Direct artillery fire, engage the 11th. Good hits on the 18th. The 11th have been beaten back. Almost immediately just surge the line forward. We want to start surrounding and knocking out some of these units to make sure we get up on top of the high ground. They'll probably come back. Get the howitzers to keep engaging the 18th regiment. Although they don't have fire rank. So they're going to find themselves exposed to something like a lot of howitzer fire. Beaten back. Okay, maybe the maybe, maybe this unit. Okay, now this is where my units can start getting a bit vulnerable because they're gonna be a bit tired. Especially after I've made them make them run everywhere. Yeah, my general up here, he must share in their perils. She's now my artillery is now out of range. Charge my light cavalry into the 37th. They don't have bayonets. Now my pikemen are way behind. Charge the charge the enemy militia. The my cavalry's charged the complete wrong way. Actually, just knocked over a bunch of my buccaneers because they were charging. Buccaneers have blood on their nostrils. Normally form formations with my cavalry. Ignore the cavalry, ignore the infantry that's charging my infantry. The wedge is gonna hit the 23rd regiment officer in the lead. I think wedge is a bad idea for lancers, they just didn't do very much damage there at all. Still engaging the enemy infantry. The line infantry is not in position. Keep my infantry blob advancing forward because they are very angry. Lancers withdraw because they are. That was not a very good idea to charge them in wedge. Even counter charge the 23rd. Buccaneers have got into the mix here, hacking their way through the 30th Regiment of Militia. Go on, you pirate dogs! Push forward, you men love a scrap. And my lance is up here to go hit the enemy light cavalry. They're just slaughtering the enemy militia. 
they don't want to continue fighting one bit. The musketry is not going the best possible way it could be. Get this line infantry into the mix. Okay, this lance unit is going to slam into the colonial light cavalry, to trying to hold off. I mean, we are taking a lot more damage than we really need to here, but that's kind of fun. Infantry, push out. In my lancers taking damage from the enemy infantry. See if we can peel off. See if the enemy. Oh, the enemy cavalry is broken. The fourth light horse are counter charging. Let's charge into the fourth regiment away from the enemy cavalry. Everybody's going to be focusing on the 25th Regiment. My artillery hasn't moved for some time. So I haven't given them any orders. The pikemen are, are heroically going to charge the colonial infantry. I think, well, they made it in. I think once they're in, these guys are going to just absolutely melt. Kill them! Kill them all! I'm in a very bloody frame of mind at the minute. So it's this regiment of militia that's holding out against us. The pikemen are just eviscerating the 27th regiment of foot. The buccaneers can charge the light cavalry. My light cavalry can casually withdraw. So that's all on this enemy cavalry unit, which is charging in suicidally. Pikeman, where are you at? Get the camp. Get the enemy light cav. All this infantry here just stop shooting. Yeah, it's already over, but once the pikemen are involved, it's just gonna end very badly. Bayonet charge the 19th. Suddenly they're realizing, uh oh, this is very bad. Go get him, Lancers! Hey, you came back. Nope, <laughs> they broke and shattered. Nope, we don't like being attacked, no siree. Well, this, yeah, this got very... I started off very methodical, and then at the end of it I was just effectively Stalin. But it kind of worked. Excellent. Plenty more of them die than us. Question is, it's going to take, it's going to be a very expensive uh, route to reinforce. But it could be worse. Poznan. Cool. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Poland. Cheers, everyone.